guys, Sarah here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are in my dressing room, makeup room, beauty room area. And we're going to do a declutter of my foundations, concealers, powders, bronzers, blush, and highlight. So if you're interested in that, keep watching. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos. All right, let's get into it. This is the second declutter I've done on my channel. The first one was nail polishes, which I will link up here. I purged the majority, the very large majority of my nail polishes. So this time I'm hopping into my makeup collection. I really love to go through and just kind of figure out what I'm using and what I'm not using. If there's something that I'm not using, it's better for me to donate it or pass it on to a family or friend that will, a family member or friend. I don't know why I said that so weird, but I just want to be able to pass it along to somebody who will get their use out of it instead of it sitting in my collection and just kind of going bad. So I'm just going to go through every category and then I will show you guys at the end everything that I come up with. I'm going to start out in my foundation drawer. I have quite a few foundations in here and I'm not using all of them so I definitely want to get rid of some of them. So there's also a couple products back here which I will go over after these. I think I'm gonna go section by section and kind of go through it that way. So first are my Clinique Beyond Perfecting. I love this, I have two shades. I'm gonna keep this. And then these are my L'Oreal uh, True Match. I love these and I have three different shades. I think this one is, yeah, this one is almost gone because I have a backup of N3. So I'm gonna pass this on or rather just get rid of it because it feels like it's totally empty. This is what I've been using a ton. It's the NYX Total Control. I am going to definitely keep this. I actually just got a new one. The Sonia Kashuk, I don't even know if they still make this foundation, but I the smell of it was too much for me, so I'm going to pass that on. I have two shades of the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Foundation. This is a little bit light for me. I think I am going to pass one of these on because they're very similar, and then see if the other one I can make it work with a foundation mixer, and if not, then I'll pass that one on as well. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. This oxidizes on me, and as you can see, it's down to here, so I've used almost all of it, so I'm going to get rid of this. The CoverGirl Stay Luminous, I this is not my shade. I only tried this, I think, w once, and I don't even remember what I think about it, but I've had it in my collection for a while and I've never reached for it, so I think I'm just going to pass this on. Okay, so moving on down here, I'm keeping both of these, the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Foundation and CC Cream. I love both of them, and I wear them a ton in the summer. This is actually another one. I think I have, yeah, I have two shades of the CC cream and then one shade of the Bye Bye Foundation. Obsessed with this, one of my go-to summer products. This one is from Color Science. It's it's like a bronzing mousse kind of thing, but it's um, good for SPF. So I use this in the summer quite a bit too. I'm gonna hold on to that. These Tarte BB creams, they're like beyond BB cream. It's basically like a foundation. I haven't used them in a while. I think I'm going to try them out again because I went through a few of these and I haven't used them in a while. I'm going to see if I use them this summer and if not, then I'll pass them on at the end of the summer. And then kind of the same thing with these ones. These are tinted moisturizers. As you can see, I've used up most of them. I have the shades light and medium. So I think um, because these do have SPF 30, I'm going to hold on to these for the summer too. And if I don't use them, I will get rid of them. This Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream, I don't like this. I'm going to pass that on. Um, the Amazonian Clay BB Cream. I don't remember what I think about this. I think I'm going to try this out too. I'm going to have like a pile of things I need to try and see what I think about it. I love this from Bare Minerals. It's the Complexion Rescue BB Cream. I have it in a few shades. This one's too dark and this one's too light, so I usually just mix them together. But this has SPF too, so this is really good for summertime makeup. I have a lot of like squeezy tube summer makeup, so I'm gonna try to use up some of these over the summer. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Tonal Cover. I haven't used this in a while either, so I think I'm gonna try this again and see what I think of it. Okay, I didn't get rid of that many, but I have a lot that are kind of pending if I will keep them or not. This is a powder foundation from Laura Geller. Um, I haven't used it, I haven't even opened it, but I'm wondering if now that it's summer, I'll be able to use it because it is in the shade medium. 
Okay, I think I'm gonna try this out. I can probably set my makeup with it even. I mean, it feels really nice. So I'm gonna put this in my powder drawer and then use it and see what I think of it. This I'm getting rid of. I think this foundation is terrible. <laughs> There's not really any other way to say it. Um, the packaging of it is so perfect. I love the packaging, but for me to make this work on my skin, it just, I had to mix it with other foundations and for how expensive it is, you definitely shouldn't have to mix it. So I don't know if it's just my skin type or not. I have like pretty normal skin. So I feel like it should have worked and it didn't. So I will be passing that along. This is my pro foundation mixer. I use this a ton, so I'll be keeping that. This is kind of like my contour drawer. So this is the Model Co. This is a contour stick. I'm gonna keep this and then this is my Burberry contour stick. I'm gonna keep this as well. I don't have a lot of contour sticks, so I'm gonna keep the ones that I do have. I think this is one. Yeah, this is my Wet n Wild contour stick. So I'll keep all of those. This is my Burberry highlighting stick. It's in the wrong drawer. I'm going to keep it, but I'm gonna put it in the right drawer. Okay, let's talk about my concealers. I don't wear concealer every day because I just, I don't have crazy under eyes, so. I don't feel like I really need it. And I used to have a lot more acne that I would spot conceal more, which I've kind of gotten rid of it for the most part. I think I'm gonna get rid of a lot of these. This one is old. This is the L'Oreal True Match. I really like this foundation or this concealer, but it is old. This is the True Match Crayon Concealer. I This one's not even open. I used to use this every single day, but I think I'm going to pass it along because I haven't used it in a really long time. I'm gonna pass these two along because I think they're expired, but I'm gonna keep this one just in case. I'm gonna keep my Tarte Shape Tape. I am going to keep my Too Faced Born This Way um, and my NYX HD. This Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer, I really like this, but it's time to go. It's been open for too long. The same thing with the Maybelline Age Rewind. I really like this concealer, but again, it's been open for too long. Then I have some that I haven't tried out yet. Oh, this is the Bare Minerals Bare Skin Foundation. I haven't tried this yet, so I do wanna try this. I don't know if this is a summer or a winter shade for me, so I'll try that whenever. Okay, my camera died, but I'm back. This is another foundation sample, so I'm gonna keep this and try it out. These are foundations or uh, concealer samples. They're both the same one, Bye Bye Under Eyes. I've heard great things about this, but I haven't tried it, so I will keep those to try. This is a little mini of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. I'm obsessed with these, so I'm gonna keep this. And then this is the Boo Boo Cover Up. I really liked this concealer, but I've had it open for a while, so I'm going to get rid of it. This is a leg contour stick. I've never used this. I do wanna try it out, so I think I'm gonna keep this to try it. And then this is just a vitamin E oil. I have random stuff back here because it's kind of like my storage. Um, this is a backup of my CeraVe moisturizer, so I'm gonna keep this. And this is another one of my EcoTool sponges, which you guys know I'm obsessed with this, so I'm gonna keep this as well. And then back here is, ooh, I forgot I had this, the Tarte Tartus Blush Palette. I love Tarte. Uh, blushes, so I'm gonna keep this but move it to where my palettes are after I go through those. Um, this is the ColourPop. This is a bronzer and highlight duo, and the colors just don't work for me, so I'm going to pass this along. And then this is my Aspen and Tarte palette that I recently got. I just did a full video on it, so I will link that video, but this is what it looks like. I'm going to keep this. I just keep random palettes on the sides because that's where they fit. This is my Tarte Cheekathon palette. Definitely keeping this. I'm obsessed with it. And I'm actually going to keep both of these as well. This is my NARS Narcissist palette. I love this one. And this is my Tarte Bare Pro contour palette. So I'm going to keep that. Okay, so that's everything for this drawer. I will show you guys what I get rid of after all of these. Okay, this is my powders drawer. I think I'm going to make a lot of progress in this drawer because there are just 
a lot of products. So let's get started. This is my Hamptons Weekender palette. Definitely keeping this. I'm obsessed with it. This is pretty new to my collection. It's the Makeup Revolution um, baking powder. I'm going to keep this as well. And this is also a new, new item. This is the Chanel Soleil Tande Chanel bronzer. And it is a cream bronzer. I am loving this. So I'm going to keep those. This is almost gone. It's my NARS Laguna. Uh, I'm going to keep this, use it up, and then I'll be done with that. And I think I'm going to keep these two. This is my Hourglass Bronzer, which is like my absolute favorite at the moment. And then I have two items from Makeup Geek that I just used in a video. This is a highlight, which is really pretty. And this is the bronzer that I really, really like. So I'm going to keep those. I think a lot of my favorites are in this section, and then hopefully I'll get, a a get rid of a lot that's in this section. This is Benefit Hula. I'm obsessed with this. This is almost gone too, so I'll use this up. And then this is my It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores bronzer. I'm going to keep this. I really, really like it, and this is new to my collection as well. I did a video on this that I will link. The Lorac Tantalizer bronzer, I'm going to keep this. Uh, Milani Baked bronzer, just featured this in a video as well. I'm going to keep that. This is the Morphe Brontour, and I'm going to keep this. This is in Celebutant, yeah. Um, this is a Smashbox bronzer that I am running out of. I'm going to keep this and use it up. I'm going to put the ones that I want to use up in the front of my collection so that I can get through them. Okay, so far I haven't gotten rid of anything. Um, this is new to my collection. It is the Romantic Rose Milani Blush. I'm going to keep this one as well as the other one that I have. This is in Tea Rose. I'm going to keep both of those. Um, this I need to use up. It's the Love Flush Blush in Baby Love. It's almost gone, so I need to use that up. This is new to my collection, Lorac in um, Technicolor. Burt's Bees, I'm going to keep this in Toasted Cinnamon. This I love too. This is actually the second one I've had of this, the Tarte Amazonian Clay in Baby Doll. This is newish, the Lorac um, Highlight in Daylight. Yeah. Okay, I'm doing a terrible job right now. This is the Tarte Highlight in Stunner. Um, this is a little sample guy that I travel with. The Milani Prep Set and Glow. This is new to my collection. I'm going to keep that. I'm going to keep this Laura Geller blush along with my Milani Highlight, my Cody Airspun Powder, and I think both of these. This is Champagne Pop, which I love. And then this is my Burberry highlight in rose gold. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So I'm going to keep those. And then this is my air blush in kink and kisses. I realize that if I know the shade names off the top of my head, I probably want to keep them. This is my uh, Morphe blush palette. I recently got this. I'm still kind of like on the fence about it. I'm going to keep it for now and see if I get some use out of it over the summer. Okay, moving over here. This is the um, Milani blush in Luminoso. I'm going to keep this. This is a Sephora bronzer. I'm going to get rid of this one. This one looks a little bit too cool toned on my skin. This is a Love Flush blush in Love Hangover. I'm going to get rid of this too because I just don't use it and I think someone else would like it. This is a Ciate bronzer. It's just so small. I think I'm going to move this to my eyeshadow drawer and see if I reach for it there. This is a Bare Minerals Duo. I really like the shades in this and I haven't been reaching for it so I'm going to move this over here somewhere and see if I get more use out of it. This is that Milani Illuminating Face Powder. I don't understand this product, and I'm going to get rid of this. This is the Benefit Hello Flawless Powder. I love this stuff, so I'm definitely going to keep that. This is a NYX Matte Bronzer. I'm going to pass this on because I don't use it. This is the NYX Finishing Powder. The white is just so white, so I'm going to pass this on. This is a NYX Ombre Blush. I think this is so pretty. I haven't reached for it. This is in the shade Nude to Me, which is totally up my alley. So I'm going to, hopefully with my collection being smaller, I will reach for it more. This is a Sigma Aura Face Powder. I don't really even know what that means. I think it's super pretty. I'm just not really sure what, what it's for. I'm going to pass this on. This Smashbox Blush I'm going to pass on. I haven't used it in forever. This is in the shade Passion. This is NYX Banana Powder. I'm going to keep that. This is a blush and glow. I remember this being really pretty. 
I can't really see it. But I'm going to pass it on. I've, I think I've worn it like twice. I actually haven't tried this. This is the Tarte Smooth Operator Finishing Powder. I'm going to move this, try and section off different products in different areas. Um, this is a Bare Minerals Highlight, which I haven't really gotten much use out of at all. It's actually really pretty. I'm going to see if I use this more. This is another loose highlight. I think I'm going to pass this on. I've never used it before. This is an Aspen Ovard and Pixie collab highlight. I really like this, so I'm going to hold on to this. This is from Lancome. I just, this highlighter I never reach for. It just doesn't really work on my skin tone. It's like a little bit too gold for me. So I think I'm going to pass this on. And then on the side, I have a backup of my Becca bronzer. I'm just going to work through a couple other bronzers before I open this one up. And then I have my Becca blush with light palette. I am obsessed with this palette. I think it's so pretty. So I'm going to keep that. And then this is the a Fiona Styles contour palette. And this is just too cool toned for me. So I'm going to pass this on. And then back here, I just have my Laura Mercier translucent powder, which I'm almost out of. So I'm going to keep this. Okay. So I'm going to try to move all of my powders over here so that I have them all in one place. So I think for this section, I'm going to take everything out of here or maybe just move it on top of here. And then I'm going to do the things that I want to use up here and then do bronzers, blush, highlight and see how it all fits. Okay, so that works out. These are the products. These four are the ones I'm trying to use up. This is my one palette, and then this is just a big bronzer that doesn't really fit. And then these are bronzers, blushes, and highlights, and then all, oh, this is a blush. And then, oh, and that's a blush too. <laughs> And then these are all of my powders. So I feel good about that. I think I made good progress. Okay, the last section is my liquid and cream highlighters. I had all of these in a little separate area, so I just put them in this box. I don't think that there's gonna be many changes because I don't have too, too many. I'm just going to get rid of this one because I haven't used it in a long time and I wanna give it to somebody before it goes bad. This is the Benefit High Beam. It's just a little too pinky for me, but I think someone else would really enjoy it. Other than that, I think all of these are going to stay. This uh, Hourglass highlight is my favorite highlight of all time. I love this one from El Genis. This is a great liquid highlight. High Beam from Benefit, or What's Up from Benefit is really nice. And then this one is Sunbeam, which I'm almost out of. Then my Burberry highlighter stick, the NYX uh, Born, to Glow, Born to Glow is really pretty. This Marc Jacobs one is awesome for summer because it's so big. So you can kind of do your like shoulder blades and just your decollete and stuff with this one. And then I love both of these. This one is, I got this I think in like a birch or in like a subscription box of some sort. So I think that one's really, really pretty. And then the Benefit Eye Bright. I need to sharpen this desperately, but this is just a cute um, eye inner corner highlight. So I'm going to keep those, but just get rid of this one so somebody else can enjoy it. Okay, so this is everything that I got rid of. I got rid of seven foundations, seven concealers, the contour kit, four bronzers, two, four blushes, four highlights, and a powder. So I feel like that's pretty good. That's a decent amount to get rid of. I'm going to go through, throw out the stuff that's like empty or bad, and then make a pile to donate to friends and family, and then I'll donate everything else to a women's shelter. Alrighty, guys. That was not as big of a declutter as ones that I've seen on other people's channels, but a lot of people have way bigger collections than I have. I get a lot of use out of a large majority of my products, so I didn't feel like I needed to purge everything, but I did forget to mention this foundation, which is the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. I just did a video on this. I'll link it up here, but this foundation is not my color, so I'm going to pass this one on as well, and I'm going to try and find it in my shade. I'm sorry if the lighting is changing. The sun is going in and out, so yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed this video and you want to see me do a declutter of my eye makeup, primers, setting sprays, brushes let me know leave a comment down below with any video requests that you have give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed and don't forget to subscribe before you leave so you don't miss any of my future videos thanks so much for watching bye guys